name is Taylor Sandiford. I am in a PGY1 at UCSF in otolaryngology. I found otolaryngology really, really late. It is a really competitive field. A lot of people wanted to go into it, but just not enough spots. The match rate was something around 60 something percent. So it was definitely stressful. I knew where I wanted to go to residency before I even applied. My partner is a computer scientist, so he really wanted something in tech. You know, a big city, especially San Francisco, was at the top of our list. I still over-applied and over-interviewed out of, you know, fear and probably took up time and attention from faculty members and residents at other programs. The repercussions of not matching are so much bigger than one extra half a day of Zoom. It makes it really hard to decline interviews, especially in a virtual era. And I think the most about like people's time. You start thinking about submitting your application in May of your fourth year. And pretty much from that time till March, it's all consuming. There was a long like nine months of perseverating over my application and not that much time to meaningfully engage in learning. There's a huge opportunity to gain back your fourth year in medical school. And it shouldn't just be a bridge to finding your residency program. It should be a meaningful learning experience. That was one of the most stressful parts of the entire ordeal for me. You just were next to your phone 24 seven. You had very little knowledge about when interviews were gonna come and how long you could have to respond to them. You were almost like a prisoner to the system. I definitely had friends that didn't respond quickly enough to a email and they lost their spot. I would never wish that process on anyone. And it was definitely the worst part of applying to residency, in my opinion. I think at the end of the day, the current system is so broken. One of the aspects of the grant that we first started looking at is this group of students who really knew where they wanted to be. And that's where the early results acceptance program, or ERAP, got born out of if students could know the top three places they'd want to go to and go through an early decision match process. And if they match, then they're done programs would know that they got the person they're looking for and also would allow students to regain that time in their fourth year to actually prepare to be a good resident and by at least reducing those numbers of applications we can help people save some money My name is Eric Strand, Residency Program Director for our training program at Washington University School of Medicine. One of our big initiatives is to try to standardize the process through which applications are received and interviews are offered. We came up with a series of initiatives. One was to release interview invitations on a single day so that students could then plan accordingly. Along with that, we encourage people to give a minimum time frame for students to respond. So a student knows that if I invite you for an interview today, you have 48 hours to accept that interview. To also get programs to commit to only offering the number of slots that they have available. And then the final one was following up with the students to let them know their final status. So if they haven't been invited, just tell them they haven't been invited so that student can make other decisions based on the programs they've heard from. I just want to underscore how much these changes would improve the mental health of applicants. The whole process is stressful enough. And so I hope that together we can make it a little bit better.